Howdy folks, my name is Darren from RC Scambolos and today we have another kit. This one's from Eddard. It's their Hind D limited edition in 148 scale. However, just a quick uh, thing about this kit. The plastic is Zvezda's Hind. So this is one of their reboxings. Let's take a look what we get inside the box. So what we get inside the box is a nice box art. I do like this tiger meat markings. This aircraft you see on the front here, I have seen this aircraft in real life. It was at Riyadh Air Show at 2012, 2012. So let's take a look at the inside this kit. So we do have the uh, border markings. Uh, it does say it here actually, sorry, uh, Riyadh 1995 actually, sorry, not 2012. 95 it, it was a long time ago but it was impressive display by the by the aircraft um so i probably will be doing this one plus it is a win-win for me it's got shark mouth and the tiger meat marking so it's a win-win uh kit number is one 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 five zero so it's 148 scale uh and it is uh Zvezda's plastic Zvezda's kit <clears throat> it's a quite a he heft hefty box because you do get some goodies in this one this box here will contain all your resin conversion for the kit to make it into a D. I don't think there is a D out there anymore. There used to be a one from the Ravel um, back in the day. But this is a newer version. We do get a book all about the Hind D and its history. Sadly, this is in check, um, so I'm, sadly I can't read check. So it's going to be okay for reference pictures, but I can't read the history on it because I don't read check. They have done English ones in the past, but sadly this one's not. You get your nice worksheet. Uh, they did do this aircraft back in the day, Eddard. They did the uh, Zvezda 172nd, but now this is the bigger brother in the 148. So which your coloured photo etch for your cockpit, which is it's their new style flat photo etch. It's not their new new zoom or 3D printed or none of that. It's their it's just their standard photo etch coloured, which will work. It's quite a tight cockpit, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. Canopy mask is standard, and obviously uh, their large decals. People say they have issues. I still yet to actually try their new decals. It's something to do with the carrier film being on top or whatever, but I can't say because I haven't done it. But let's take a closer look at the kit. So as always, we will look at the manual quickly and go through it and we'll see what we get. So as I say, it's, it's a nice, nice print. Pretty standard for Eddard. We have uh, all the sprue map, everything in blue. There's stuff not needed. So there will be some spares, obviously, because... This kit come out from the Vesda, I believe was is it the J or the G? Um, so obviously this part's not needed now, and this is the conversion down here to make it into the D, which is the uh, slightly different gun and our uh, different engine rockets and stuff. Vadovich masks, that's all there because I have seen it. I have checked it out already just to make sure we've previously done this. Color callouts are all done by Mr. Hobby, so. Uh, if you use Mr. Hobby, there's no problems, but otherwise you've got basic colour names, and so you're just going to have to uh, compare them yourself. You start with the cockpit. This is very similar to how Zvezda's do theirs. Um, so if you built Zvezda hind already, you know what it goes together like. But we start with the cockpit seat, one of the pilots. Bulkhead part for the seat, and then these seat belts going in straight away. Uh, this looks like the other seat. So there's... Uh, pilot and Rio or weapons operator uh, cockpit tub is all one piece seats going in and the brackets flight stick and this is another seat going in the red parts here is to remove to replace with further which if you wish to do so another flight stick more radio equipment side of the bulkhead 
The uh, downfall with Sylvester's kit was very plain. There was no hardly any detail in the cockpit. That was the biggest grime everyone had. Um, but obviously now there is aftermarket, but it was a shame that the way they've done it, it seems like they they mould it deliberately because of the aftermarket. It's it's a uh, shitty way of doing it, I think, to be honest. Part of the bulkhead here. <clears throat> So we have the inside of the cockpit being further etched, some more radio equipment inside. This is another radio piece, again we've got to remove this piece to replace with giant further etch. This is all inside the cockpit still, this is inside the main belly of the helicopter. This is looks like more electronics, loads more electronics and further etch and radios and detail parts and you've got colours as you go along you're only going to see all this if you have the door open which is the side side door which should be here if you have this door open you're going to see all this but if, otherwise if you don't you won't see it we have the rotary section going together so it comes as two halves and a piece here and then the top piece here which is G30 which is the little pin which allows your propellers to spin so it's not asking for no glue in the top cap some sort of structural parts which would be the uh, main top of the rotor section we have inside the uh, floor some rails we have these pieces I'm not 100% sure what they are back to the uh, rotor system not sure what this is actually this section here is to do with the uh, where the engine would sit. I'm not sure if you get any engine detail in this, but we have bulkhead. This is the rotary system. This sits on top of the uh, helicopter. This is a bulkhead here, inside. It says here, see page 24 for insulation on, um, what that is. Oh, we do have engine detail, which is a nice touch. So you can, Liven up a little bit of wiring and stuff. Uh, so I imagine the doors will be open as well. It'll be nicely all opened up and all visible. So we've got two engines left and right. They can go in. We've got more structural arms. We have this piece inside. Looks like one of the folded seats. Yep, it is folded seat. We have some seat belts going in as well. So we have one of the side doors. Open or closed option. Uh, turning your attention to what section this is. This looks like the front nose now. This is the resin section. So this is the conversion to make it into a D. We have some slight differences here. Just to be careful of. With, to do with your markings. Again this is all to do with the front nose. So that inside tub. This piece here. And the front nose could all be sandwiched together now. We have another cockpit section, which is laminated in three sections. Remove this tab at the front, some grills. The front section can go together now, which would be the, the uh, side fuselage. This piece here is the uh, instrument panel. This part is to do with the intake near the engines. These are the small wings on the side that houses some of the weapons. We have part of the uh, belly, some lumps and bumps going on there. Probably uh, more electronics. Asking for two uh, 0 0.2 millimeter rod and some pieces here made of plastic card. So you're going to have to a li little bit of scratch building there. They're asking for strangely enough. You would have thought that would have been in fellow etch or whatever, but we have to take a closer look at that. These are the pylons and the side wings for your weapons. Left and right, pretty standard. I'm not sure what this is down here, but we have some parts. The two little wings going in, part of the canopy going in now. We have some detail parts inside there. Landing gear, wheels, pretty standard stuff. 
Um, these look like engine cover doors. These are the engine covers. This is the side door, open or closed. So again, all of this section now is going to be open or closed option, which is, I think, nicely. If it's on the ground, displayed, have it all open. If you're having it in a flight mode, obviously you want it all closed up. Turn your attention to part of the tail, where the tail rotor is. Some structural bands and structural parts. We have some wet weapon rails. So this piece here, PE13, is, is further etch. It's like a H shape, and then we've got these uh, rocket rails. This, these uh, rocket type pieces are further etch. No, sorry, not further etch. These are resin rockets. A little bit of wiring. Attach them on both sides of the uh, pylons. Turn your sense into the machine gun or Gatling gun or cannon type piece on the front. Some more air to air missiles, probably like uh, rockets. The doors open or closed. Uh, again, these are this is the open option for the doors. Some pitot tubes and aerials and wind wipers. This is the uh, another pitot tube. We have the resin exhaust pipes going in, and then you're turning your attention to the actual rotary system, which is a five star shape. So the main pin, five star piece, putting your five bladed propeller together, sandwiching that down. Some of the detail parts, a little bit of wiring probably, and hosing to liven it up a little bit. Some lumps and bumps. It's got your colour callouts for your rotors. They're calling out for looks like black and like a weird green colour for the underside. And then your layout for your Eddard masks. And the purple part is liquid mask to fill the gaps in, or you can just use tape. And then the first colour scheme which is the one that I mentioned about us that it was at the Riyadh Air Show 2005 impressive display it was uh, definitely probably will build this scheme for sure because like I say it's got a tiger mouth and top and uh, uh, tiger meat and shark mouth it's a win-win um, we have a camouflage version again it's nicely done it has a shark mouth um, and this is Calling up just for wood color, green, and a grey bottom. This will be a little bit more tricky because of the uh, splinter camouflage. We have another one here, camouflage, which is uh, calling out for. Strangely, it's uh. Hang on a minute. Where are they? The colour is... Mi you've got to do a mix ratio to get this green colour. So they're calling out for 50-50 mix of 52. 52 is natural grey mixed with C32. C32. Uh, ocean grey so you've got to mix ocean grey and natural grey to get this colour and then to, to get this lighter version which is C308 C308 which is just normal grey strangely these don't match up with those colours another camouflage version this is the wood and dark green colour with the natural grey bottom these, as I say, these are all Czech aircraft. This one here, 2002, a little bit more, more modern. Because the symbol's not coloured now, it's in uh, like a ghosty uh, greyed out colour. This is pretty colour, pretty cool scheme as well. I do like this scheme, which is the uh, green, dark green, and greys. Again, this scheme here is pretty much the same. As the first one, 
same 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 aircraft as this one, but this one was just white or light grey before it went to Splinter, and it has the uh, number twenty, but it's pretty much the same aircraft. Again, back to the the green and field grey colour. We have this one here, which has got a bit more vibrant colours and camouflage. And then stencil data, rockets, propellers, uh, or um, so yeah, pretty standard. Loads of stencils. So we have different stencils for different markings. So this is for B and D version. This one's for C and E. This one's for G version. And this one's for the H version. So we have the colour photo etch. Nicely done, pretty standard stuff from Eddard. We have this uncoloured photo etch, just is normal, normal photo etch stuff. This is for all the everything else detailed stuff. Soundproofing, makes up boxes wiring detailed st structural parts these are the missile rails i believe and um, we do have the clear acetate to go behind the uh, instrument panels i think or something like that but i like to use microsoft crystal clear for that i don't bother with the uh, acetate eddard markings take a closer look at this So we get a small sheet here which has all the stencil data on it. You can always tell with the Eddard new markings if you look at the carrier film it's quite large and chunky. It just it's just really weird. It just seems like they've gone step back a little bit to like two super early decals. But they claim that there's nothing changed, but there clearly there is something. Um so you look at the carrier film, especially around the numbers, it's just like, just it's not close at all, it's just ugly looking. You look, back in the day they used to use cartograph, but now you look at their decals, it just, just look so weird, especially like round and roundels. There's like a good centimetre carrier film covering it when, if you use cartograph, they're right up close and... Don't get me wrong, the colour's nice and vibrant and it's nice and crisp and clean and they are sharp, but the carrier film just seems just way overdone. I don't know. I really don't know. Um, we have a quick nosy at this book, as I say, it is in check. Um, so a little bit of history on the hind and the designer. So it is great reference material for colours, weathering, and how the aircraft are today. Here's the one that was at the air show. Obviously, that's not Riet, but it, it was at Riet. So pretty cool, close up with the shark mouth, pretty clean that one air aircraft, the one's in the snow. Here's a nice engine detail shot of the engine. So this is all about markings, weapons. And some of the squadron markings and stuff, so it is a nice book, but just sadly it's not in English. As for the kit, it comes in this giant bag. All 
always check your bags and this is why we don't like our kits in one bag because bits like this come off and can get broken and clearly they have hopefully they're not damage damaged parts so we put them to one side and we just make sure they're not damaged so here's the main body as I say if you've already seen the Zvezda kit or you build it you pretty much know what details like details okay and it's it once all the details from Eddard put their stuff on it it'd be fine but I don't know it'd be alright once it's built up but it just gave it when it first came out everyone was hyped about it and then when it got released it was like a little bit disappointing but nonetheless it is the newest version so and Zvezda have come a long way back in the day their kits were a bit shoddy but they definitely improved hell of a lot we have got these ejector pins to take care of you may they may be visible on the inside but these ones you won't have to worry about you have this one bag of clear so nice they give you this uh, resealable bag because once the kit's done you can reuse these bags so we have this funny looking sprue all of your windows and your canopy parts a little bit of scuffing on that one so they're nicely done So we have this sprue here, structural parts, engine detail, these are intakes for the front part of the engine, these are more engine detail parts, bulkhead, this is part of the uh, rotary system, uh, these are covers for the intakes of the air, air intakes. So there's a little bit of flash around here inside that's not too bad there's those details on those engines so say a little bit of wiring and stuff liven it up structural parts there's a detail of those intakes you've got to take care of those pieces there's part of the rotary system small detail parts Another sprue here. This is part of the uh, top where everything goes on the rotary system and engine sitting here. This is bulkheads. This is the cockpit uh, cockpit floor interior behind the pilots. This is more bulkhead. These are hatches and stuff. These are hatches for the uh, engines. Nicely done. There's no ejector pins on the inside, so we ain't got to worry about clean up on those. Here is more engine detail doors detail parts these are the doors again open and close version wheels two piece a little bit of clean up two piece small wheels landing gear parts which is all here some wings soundproofing on the inside so this is looking downwards this is the inside of the uh, engine area these doors haven't got jet to pins neither which is nicely done this is inside the floor, so this will be facing upwards. This is the bottom part, so you won't see this. This will be on the inside. Jet the pins on there, you won't see those because they're facing towards the tail. So no problems there. We have this sprue here. Let's take that off. So we have the main tail, so we have some extra parts going on here to make up the uh, D version. This is the side wall where the cockpit will sit and canopy. So this, like I say, we mentioned before, it's just lacking in detail. But it just seems like they've done it deliberately because they knew aftermarket guys would come out and just 
spruce it all up. But I don't know. Again, this is inside the cockpit tub. It's not 100% crisp and clean. Yeah, this is inside as well. It's just totally lacking in detail, but that's what people were grinding about. The seats. Uh, so there is side of the seat somewhere. There must be another sprue. There's that pito tube. Just be super careful taking this off. It's going to be fragile, especially these detail parts. We do have this sprue here. You look at the uh, rotaries, it does look like they're warped, but they're actually not. They they are designed to have that slight curve into them. I don't know if you, how well you can see that on the camera, but it has a slight curve. They're designed to be that way. So here's the uh, part of the rotary system. So it's all nicely done. We have these pieces here. Part of your wings becomes two halves. Jet to pin on the inside, so it shouldn't be no problem. You do get pilot figures, which Ed, as uh, the Vesda gave you, but they don't call them out in the instructions because Ed are just call them as a blanked out. Can you use them? Possibly. I'm not 100% sure with the D. I don't know. If the electronics and equipment changed. Some more detail parts. Tail rotary section, which is nicely done. Smolded as one part. And the last sprue contains weapons and fuel tanks and stuff like that. So we have extra fuel tanks type stuff. Some of this is not needed, I believe. These are for your rocket pods. Um, which ones are which? I think this is the back of the rocket pod, if I'm not mistaken. These section here look like the front, so you do have. Looks like there are covers going over them, but it must be on another sprue. Again, more of these tanks, more tanks, pylons. Or rocket pods. Here's part of your machine gun, but I think this is all being replaced with resin. We will take a look at that in the box. More detail parts. Um, but it is nicely done. Quite a large sprue this one. And last piece is the conversion. This foam is pretty handy to keep. You can do chipping and use it for filling when it comes to painting. So never throw these away. This stuff always comes in handy. You get two bags. No instructions because it's obviously done within the kit. I don't know if they sell this as a separate kit. But we do have black resin and the standard grey. This I believe is the 3D printed stuff because it's got a slight texture to it and it's got lines in it and this is the normal standard resin. But we'll take a look, uh, closer look. So we have two pieces, no, three pieces, four pieces. There's four pieces in this one. So this is one of the, the uh, resin parts. Don't know how well you can see this on the camera, but if you look close, if you can get it close enough, you can see it's got some slight lines into it. So I believe this is been printed. So this bottom part is the part you need to remove, and this will sit this way down on on the nose. Here are your exhaust nozzles. It's super, super thin. 
you can see those lines but it is smooth you can't feel them and then we have this piece and where you can see it because it's on black on black and then we have this small piece as well As for the other resin, this is weapons. So we have four of these rocket type pieces. There are four of these. We have two of these H rails which you have to put fellow which onto as well so there's two of those we have one of these small pieces we have this piece here which has small detail parts on it just so just be super careful taking these off the sprue because you only get one chance of doing this and you don't want to screw it up again little tip with resin most people know this working with resin you want to clean your parts carefully with soapy water to get any excess um, Larisse agent off the uh, parts dry them a bit of primer so paint sticks nicely um, and glue them together most likely your CA glue uh, and be careful with the dust you want to wear a mask because resin dust can be uh, harmful to you, to your health. Um, and if you are working with resin dust, do it outside or if you are indoors, uh, have some wet paper towel down just to collect the dust up. So there you are guys. There's another kit from Medard. Is there one of their collect editions, reboxings? Uh, it's one 148 scale. It's the Hind D. Pretty good kit in my opinion. Uh, yeah, so nicely done. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you later.